So this is week two of April. Again, April is all about courage with Black Belt Excellence. All the kids should have their newsletters. Some of them should be bringing them back full this week. And so you're going to be giving uh, some of the stripes, the awards, whatever you're going to be doing um, starting this week. So the first week they get the newsletter. The second, third, and uh, fourth week they're returning it and they're getting their reward. Now we're going to continue with the Spartan lineup. Again, that's manifesting a feel of bravery. Motion creates emotion. The emotion we're trying to get is confidence and having courage. The drill we're going to do today is, you probably already have done this in school plenty of times, but the kids are going to run and they're going to jump over uh, shields. So the, the, the pads or the shields, the targets, whatever you use in class, we're going to start piling them up. We're going to see who can jump over one or around line. Now they've got to run, jump over two, and we see how far they go. Now you want to be really careful. You want to make sure you have an instructor by the pad. So if you see a kid that's going to just kind of crash and burn, he's going to fall, we can catch them, making sure no one gets hurt. But the whole idea is to challenge them, give them something that, again, is a little out of their comfort zone. Uh, they may not believe in themselves and just go, I don't want to do this. Hey, yes, you can. Can, can you do this? Yes, sir, I can handle this. It's still, yes, sir, I can handle this. Uh, so that's the drill. Now, at the end of class, you can do your um, a match out where you're reading the PDF file. But the whole idea is I want them to do something within the next week that's going to be a bravery success story. Maybe they're going to go to school and they don't usually re raise their hands, but they're going to raise their hands. Maybe they're going to try a new food, but they're going to have to come back next week and give you a bravery success story. And that's got two parts. One is I want them to actually do something this week that shows bravery. And number two, when they say that, they're going to stand up in front of the whole class and say what they did for bravery, which is another act of bravery because a lot of kids get nervous when they have to stand up and talk in front of other people. So it's still, yes, sir, I can handle this. We're going to do the drill. The drill this week is jumping over pads and work really hard, making sure they're pushing higher than they've ever done before. So we've got to get to that level where they have to actually manifest a little bravery. Still do the Spartan lineup again. And um, the kids are going to have a blast. This is, again, one of those drills. You know, you may say, well, I'm wasting time. I could be punching, blocking, and kicking. This is three to four minutes to empower the kids on bravery. We're not just saying how to be brave. We're giving them an experience that's going to make them use bravery. So that's how you empower kids. It's not just the words. It's actually the action that makes the difference. Enjoy.